One of the reasons people do not invest is because they do not have large sums of money to use as capital. Investment aims to make more money, and there is no doubt about that. But you do not need to own a million for you to start investing. Let me tell you a secret. In most of the cases, those who own a million pounds may have started with little or nothing, but with patience and study of the market, they have successfully invested and made some more money. The market is big enough for everyone if you ask me. Investing is for everyone, so there are not as many risks as people think. So once you get over the fear of investing, maybe you can start making money. We also advocate passive income, hoping that eventually you will be able to grow your net worth and have an income source apart from your daily jobs. When you buy stocks or bonds from individual companies, there are basically two ways you can make returns from them. You can either hold it long enough to see a difference in price from how much you bought them, making you sell at a higher price, or the stocks and shares you bought gave you some dividends. If you are having any issues with what we discuss in this video, we would suggest you watch some of our previous videos, which are centered on investments for beginners before you come back to this one. Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing how you can start investing with whatever you have, no matter how small the sum is. Any amount is right to start investing, and in the UK, there are lots of opportunities for you. So, let's learn how to invest with little, shall we? There is not a lot of money in the world right now, so do you want to start with little and earn big? Or do you just want to learn about investments without having to risk so much? Then, stay tuned, because this video is for you. We know everyone's investing power is not the same, but the basic principle of stock market investment is the same, which is that investments are made for the long term. This means you can't just put in some money today and expect returns the next day. With a bit of patience, the little sums you may have invested turn substantial. There are basically three ways to build an investment portfolio, and they are, number one, Hire a financial advisor or planner to do it for you. These people are professionals in the investment field. They will study your financial situation, income, and assets, and then come up with a tailor-made investment package for you. Only, it may be more expensive since you will have to pay for their time and services in addition to the money you want to invest with. Number two, do it yourself. This way, you need to study the market trends, bonds, stocks, and all. With a little research, you have enough knowledge to start up an investment portfolio without so many costs. Before we continue, please like, share, and comment in the section below. Number three, using a robust investor. The world is going digital, and we now have a pseudo AI investing machine that plays the role of a financial advisor. You give your info, and it matches you with possible investment options. There may be charges, but not as much as the human financial advisor. Some of the ways you can start investing with little or no money will be discussed shortly. Take advantage of pension, first of all. Many companies have their different procedures for doing this, so all you have to do is find out the system on which your company runs and key into it to enjoy the benefits. If you can, please endeavor to match the maximum contribution from your employer. It is a very specific type of investment and it is strictly for retirement. Here in the UK, the current retirement age is 57 years, but that could still change. Most companies encourage that not for their benefits, but to help set their employees up for the future. If you do not work for a company, you can still open a private pension investment. The significant advantage is this kind of investment is pre-tax, post-tax investments. This is a select type of investment in the UK and includes individual savings accounts where one person can save up to £20,000 in a range of ISAs. It is very tax efficient, and even your local banks can offer you a variety of ISAs. With investment ISAs, there are three ways you can go about them. Do it yourself, where you select the shares and bonds yourself. The robot investing, where the suggestions and investment selections are strictly automated based on how much you earn and your spending tendencies and the micro investments. As well as investment ISAs, you can also have peer-to-peer -peer investment ISAs, which is where you give it to other people, making it more loan-based. There is also the lifetime ISAs, where the government provides the incentive to provide a higher bonus back, 
and unlike the individual ISAs, the government guarantees a level of increase. However, lifetime ISAs only allow you to invest a smaller portion of your £20,000. So, you always need to know the limits for any particular ISA that you pick. Microinvestments are made when small amounts of money are moved over to investment accounts without you having to do much. You may not be spending so much money, but programs are shifting little bits of money from our accounts to investment portfolios and make the investments for us. This is ideal for someone who still has a little fear of the stock market. In this way, you will be investing little sums of money without the fear of putting large sums, and it helps to build the confidence of an investor looking to test the viability of stock market investments. So if you want to build a DIY completely built by your decision on what you want in stocks and bonds, Hargreaves Lansdowne might be a good place to start. They are certainly not the cheapest because you can open an account with them with a sum of 25 pounds monthly. They also have transaction charges and have terms and conditions. They have an admin fee of 0.45%, which is quite high compared to others, and their investments start from approximately 0.22%, which is typical with other companies. Some of their products include junior ISAs, investment ISAs, and general investment accounts. They also offer a more extensive choice of plans to choose from. These plans include a full range of stocks, bonds, funds, mutual funds, etc. Now, you know a thing or two about the kinds of investments you can make with as little as one pound. You have to figure out your goals and consider the expenses associated with all of these accounts. Remember to always do proper research before investing. Never underestimate the power of investing, no matter how small. We would like you to see our channel as your number one for personal finance, success mindset, and investments. So if this video struck a chord, please share and like this video, subscribe to our channel, and let us hear your views and comments in the box below. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.